So I just walked through the Wild River campground, like the actual like car campground, and this the freaking uh, host there like kind of bitched at me a little bit. In late September 2020, I through hiked the Northville Plaza Trail with my friend Flossie, but that's not really what this video is about. A few weeks before we left, I went over to the White Mountains by myself to do a solo backpacking loop in the Wild River Wilderness. I didn't have time to edit it before we left for the Northville Plaza Trail a few weeks later, so I figured I would save the footage and do something f***ing weird like put out a summer backpacking video in the middle of the winter, so... Yeah, that's where we are right now. I hope you enjoy the tales of the many weird-ass people I met on this hike. Can you see my balls hanging out? Screw it, I'm just gonna cover them. So, I just drove three hours to the Bald Face Circle trailhead here in the White Mountain National Forest. It's like right on the border of New Hampshire and Maine. I'm gonna be doing Two and a half days, a little loop by myself. That's right, by myself, no flossy. He had to work, unfortunately. I've done a decent amount of solo backpacking trips before, but this is the first one this year. First one in a while. Part of me is looking forward to it because it's gonna be a little bit different. Part of me is definitely gonna be kind of bored. We'll see what happens. I gotta figure out where the hell the trail is here. Is this it right here? Doesn't look like a trail. All right, so the plan today is to go over the bald faces, north and south bald face. Right as I started a second ago, there was a group of day hikers who didn't really know where they were going. They didn't have a map or anything. They were just kind of asking me for directions or whatever. When you do this a lot, it's really easy to kind of like scoff at people like that. Like, oh, all these people are unprepared. They don't know what they're doing, but you gotta keep in mind, like everybody starts somewhere. And so don't be a jerk to them. Don't be a gatekeeper. Let them take a picture of your map so they have something to reference in case something goes wrong. That's really important. People don't realize you need a freaking map out here, at least something on your phone. Help people out when you get the chance, please. I need to briefly interrupt the music to tell you how freaking awesome this is right now. You used to fall asleep with the dead. Holy sh**, this is so unbelievably beautiful right now. I love the whites, I love the whites. This is my third time here this summer. It never gets old. I wanna live here someday. Now I'm just getting too sentimental. That's what I have to climb up next. And I believe that's the summit of South Bald Face. And then over there, that is the summit of North Bald Face. And that's where I'm going after I go up there. Kind of catch my drift there, you see the plan? I feel like I can't even use my trekking poles right now because I literally just keep stopping every like five seconds in order to take more videos because it's so freaking cool. And I know it's only a door between us, but I've never failed. I've never failed for a love. My hands up, yes. But you wouldn't know that you can never take us. Well, the summit of North Bald Face, ah, the summit of South Bald Face was very quiet, but the summit of North Bald Face was not very quiet. There's these, these two old ladies. I don't know, they said they were older than my mom when they asked me how old she was. And they were just having the time of their life, dude. They were just laughing it up. They were asking me like a bunch of questions, like when I was born, like they were asking me about my camera. And then of course they started asking me about posting it and found out about YouTube. <laughs> then as I was leaving, I got recognized by another guy from this, which was cool. That's only the second time I've ever been recognized. I didn't get his name, probably should have. Do I have anything in my face? All right, a couple intersections later, I've made it to my cutoff. That is called, I'm doing a circle, the Wind River Trail, the, yeah, the Eagle Link. And I'm gonna loop down to the Wind River Trail. Lots of interesting human encounters on this hike today. I mentioned that thing about the beginner hikers at the very start of this video, and I just ran into, I think they were sisters or something, and they were very confused. They didn't really know where they were, and they didn't have a working map either, nor did they probably know how to use it. Me and this other group of hikers that was also up there at the same time spent probably about 10 minutes talking to them, and... <laughs> 
I'm, look, I'm not trying to be a dick, like, but she, <laughs> they were saying some pretty ridiculous stuff. So I think they really wanted to keep pushing to the top, but they kind of knew deep down that they probably shouldn't because they were out of gas and it was pretty late and they were kind of confused about where they were even going. So we slowly convinced them to turn around. We didn't make fun of them. We didn't be douchebags, obviously. It was kind of awkward telling somebody that they should turn around when I just came down from the mountain. I think that was the safe decision based on the condition they were in. And at the end of the day, they agreed and thanked me and the other group, so. I'm going to the Spruce Book Camp. <laughs> Spruce Book, yeah, it's a library. Spruce Brook campsite. I can already tell this is gonna be one of those wilderness trails where you can just tell from walking on it that not that many people hike through here. I love these trails in the whites, they're super fun. You definitely get to see a side of the national forest here that not as many people see you and they just watch like the AT vlogs and some of the more popular routes here. A Little bit grown in. Oh, she's working good. Duck, check out this freaking tent site. Hell yeah. I'm pretty tired. I think I'm gonna eat this and go to bed. <laughs> oh God. I've been in this tent for like 12 hours. <laughs> so right now we're at the Spruce Brook tent site. We are going to go on the Wild River Trail. So we get to the Wild River Campground, which is not a backcountry campground. You can actually drive to that one because there's a road. I'm gonna take this Burnt Mill Brook Trail up, 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 up. That's gonna be the big climb for the day up to the top of West Royce Mountain. And then after that, we're just gonna take this ridge down, down, down till we get to the Blue Brook tent site. You do this shit, ready? Oh, that sucks. That means I have to go hike. <laughs> Look at that bear hang. My God, that's a good bear hang right there. Okay, I'm finally moving for the day. I'm looking forward to a nice morning and afternoon of sun and then potentially an evening of rain. So I just walked through the Wild River campground, like the actual like car campground, and this the freaking uh, host there like kind of bitched at me a little bit. All I did was like walk up to a campsite, an empty one obviously, and I just like took my pack off and sat down on the picnic table. And he came like screaming over in his golf cart and basically told me to fuck off. He's like, you can go wait over by the you know the hiker area or whatever. I was like, Jesus Christ, dude! I just sat down, chill. So I was like, all right. So I walked over to the other picnic table instead. <laughs> Lots of interesting human encounters. That's kind of the theme for this trip. <sighs> okay, I came down the summit of West West Joyce Mountain. And right as I was coming down, like right after the summit, I found a couple, like three or four piles of like pretty fresh moose. <laughs> it was pretty fresh. Yeah, and there was definitely a print in the mud as well. So I really thought I was gonna see a moose there for a second, but uh, doesn't look like it. I haven't seen any for a while now. She's a windy one. Okay, I've arrived at camp. This is the Blue Brook campsite. There's a number of like flat tent pad areas. There's at least three or four here, but it's a little bit hidden back here. There's not really any obvious signs that point you back here. You just got to follow the path of least resistance and eventually it'll open up and you'll find it. This is a cool campsite and I'm the only person here. It's only about five o'clock, so someone could roll in still.
Day is over. Tent is set up. Hair is looking eh. I definitely hear somebody over there. I wonder if they're gonna catch me talking to my camera by myself like an idiot. What's up? How am I looking this morning? It's the last day of the trip. I have a choice to make. Dude, shut up. Freaking squirrel, Jesus. I have a choice to make. I can either hike like five and a half miles to go back to my car, or I can hike seven and a half miles and go back to the same spot. The only difference is the extra miles and maybe a little bit of extra climbing, but even that doesn't look to be that bad. So I need to decide if I'm feeling lazy and I want my burger and or beer sooner, two miles sooner, or if I should just suck it up and do the extra miles. I don't think I'm gonna do the extra miles, I'll be honest. Okay, just past 9.30, I got some water, I took a shit. I packed up. I think I'm just gonna take the easy way out, get a burger, get a beer, drive home, and chill. Let my body recover a little bit so I'll be ready to go in a few weeks on the NPT. I'm used to give all I have, I'm used to get nothing back, wherever I go, it's the same. There's no excuses, no one to blame Sometimes I can understand how it can be So I to stay out of pain but with you, <sighs> Hike's over Cheeseburger time <laughs> Having a fight